What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. Nose is stopped up. Haven't been feeling that great lately. But we here. And I don't feel bad enough to not record and have a conversation with you guys. And the views are still phenomenal. God is good. The weather is good. Life is awesome. And uh, I still want to have a conversation with you guys because, you know, there's nothing more important when I'm trying to figure out who I want to align myself with and business and all of these different things and character. There's nothing more important than character. And so, you know, when I'm thinking about the fact that you know, I had a video. Let's just start here. I had a video a long time ago where, you know, I was talking about the importance of, you know, standing on your own two feet and how you need to move a certain type of way. And again, you got to excuse the fact that my nose is a little bit stopped up, but standing a certain type of way and moving a certain type of way. I had a video a long time ago where I talked about uh, rocking with content creators and how at that time I had not really did any collabs with content creators and I was kind of standing on my own too and you know I had built my following up you know based off of really just doing what I do and you know rocking with that and so you know now that I'm starting to become a lot more visible and put out a lot more content and rock out with you guys and things like that you're starting to, to see the differences between the people that are authentically good and the people that are absolute trash like Glendon Cameron. You know, I did a live stream about Glendon Cameron about how, you know, the dude is basically a super predator in my opinion because he preys on young little girls, but then he still has people rocking with him and justifying his behavior just because he's successfully been able to do things from a business perspective or he's a millionaire or whatever so on and so forth and for a while now i had been contemplating putting together content with him and possibly having him come and speak to my patreon members and things like that but something kept telling me to hold off just wait learn a little bit more about a person do a little bit more deep dive and do some research and again you know whether or not I rock with somebody is not necessarily entirely based off of whether I agree with them or not. Because there's plenty of people that I disagree with. I don't agree 100% with anybody. My mom, my, my wife, my daughter, whatever. You know, you can have a difference on how, you know, opinion or where you stand on certain things. But that has nothing to do. No bearing whatsoever of whether or not I'm going to rock with you. The determining factor is whether or not you're a good person, you got good work ethic, and good character. The content, of your, the content of your character versus where it is that you stand. This dude is just absolutely a scumbag all the way across the board. I don't do it. I don't rock with him. I don't continue to move according to the ability to be able to generate more resources. I adamantly, adamantly stand against that type of behavior. Any person that can justify as a grown man, hunting, communicating with, and their sexual exploits of a teenager is beyond me. I don't even, I don't understand how people can still justify the idea behind supporting him. Supporting him and rocking with his platform. It's amazing. And it's almost like, yo, it says more about you than it will ever say about me. So one of the things that he said in a response video to me was, well, Anton should have called me to verify whether it's true or not. You said it out of your own mouth. Either way, you a scumbag because either you was lying for clout, which we don't believe, because he still admitted that the, that the stories was true, or, or you really did it, and this is just the tip of the iceberg on who you really are as a person. If you would do anything for a dollar, anything for some clout, anything for some followers, anything for some visibility, I don't want to be associated with you at all. At all. And so, you know, you guys want to go on the After Hours channel, you got to be 18 and up to see the reaction video that I did on him. 
if you guys want to go to the channel and check it out and have a conversation about you know my reaction to it that is up that is on after hours again you got to be signed in 18 and up to be able to view it uh the video is not even monetized but you got to stand for something when are we going to stand for something when are we going to stop stop just doing anything to be associated with the in crowd and you see those type of people all the time listen people like glendon cameron and there's plenty of other people like him and that's the disturbing part there's a ton of people in our society that are like him they hiding in the shadows they got money they got resources some of them don't but the ones that got money and the resources those are the biggest predators those are the ones that we got to be careful with protect our sons protect our daughters protect our our environment our society because if good people that actually have resources to fight these people off because i'm not worried about what nobody think about me if good people that actually have a voice and have a platform don't stand up then who will who stands up we let the worst of us represent us nah nah not on my watch not on my watch you know i can't tackle every single issue that i that i disagree with but when i see a scumbag millionaire scumbag millionaire using their platform to clout chase and brag about their sexual exploits when it comes to little children because he did admit to still having conversations and trading pictures with a 15 year old he still admitted to some random woman that he met on craigslist supposedly using her daughters and exploiting them he still admitted to having a sexual relationship with a 17 year old and the best that you can do is that these women are able to drive so they should be able to make their own decisions when it comes to being sexually exploited nah that's nasty that's absolutely filthy it's nasty we don't stand for it we don't rock with it protect your sons protect your daughters we taking back our society we no longer laying down we're not letting everybody else determine the course of what it is that we stand for when it comes to our ethics and morals. And it's time to put all of that to rest. We done with it. We gonna get to this bag. We gonna get to this money as righteous people. We gonna do it the right way. And we are not gonna clout chase. And we are not gonna say the best or the, the, the worst things about us in order to try to create some more visibility. Trash, trash human beings, trash behavior being translated across the internet and now with the technology that we have, all we're doing is become privy to, we're coming more privy to people that feel comfortable enough to share this thing, this stuff with us. And, and it's funny because Glendon feels untouchable. He feels as though he can say whatever he wanna say and ain't nobody gonna stop him, can't nobody cancel him or anything like that. I'm very much thankful. I'm thankful that he feels comfortable enough to use his platform in order to illustrate and, and teach a masterclass on how to be a super predator well me too i'm going to use my platform to do the complete opposite balance the yin and yang baby the yin and yang you're gonna be an a-hole i'm gonna be the the darkest angel i'm out here cleaning up the streets and i need y'all to do y'all part too so what i need you to do first is hit a like for the youtube algorithm secondly make sure you subscribe to the channel and after hours third the patreon is in the description if you want to support the platform and fourth Stand for something and don't fall for anything when it comes to these super predators that's preying on your sons and daughters. And then one day somebody going to have to pick up the pieces and try to figure out how it is that they can make things right because they've been emotionally broken and now they're operating in society and perpetuating the same behavior and narrative. No longer. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I'll holler at you later. See you tomorrow. Peace.